The Caddo coroner released the name of the man shot and killed by Shreveport police last night after a traffic stop on Mansfield Road and Valley View Drive. He has been identified as 33-year-old Joseph Dwayne Taylor. This is the third officer-involved shooting in Shreveport this year. Thanks for joining us at 4. I'm Priscilla Borrego. Let's get back to today's top story. Members of the community have gathered in protest over this most recent officer-involved shooting. Our KSLA's Tamer Knight has been out all day gathering the details and is live at Government Plaza where dozens of people showed up to have their voices heard. Tamer, what can you tell us? That's right, Priscilla. I'm here at Government Plaza where family, friends, and community members gathered at the day, today's city council meeting to get their voices heard about what happened last night. Unfortunately, 33-year-old Joseph Dwayne Taylor was gunned down by Shreveport police after what turned out to be just a regular traffic stop ended in his life being cut short. Now his family says they will not stop until justice is served. Family and friends and members of the community gather outside of the Shreveport Police Department earlier today to rally against the officer involved shooting that claimed the life of 33 year old Joseph Dwayne Taylor. Now there is a fight for justice. Protesters stood outside the Shreveport Police headquarters demanding answers on why Taylor was shot and killed. So it almost seemed as if that they were running from uh, actually coming to, uh, to, to, to speak with us to see if we could get any answers. Uh, it, the trans transparency is minimal um, it, it, at the most when it comes to this department. And it seems as if they are engaged in a cover up um, when I, because when I, I posted the video and I seen I seen uh, fake pages start to come in under the post with his arrest record. Now, I have no idea what that has to do with a man getting shot in the back. Whether he had a gun, if he was on his stomach, why do you shoot a man in the back if he's on his stomach? He's no threat to you. As of right now, police have not released any body cam footage, and this remains an ongoing investigation. Louisiana State Police has taken over the investigation, and of course, we'll keep you updated as we learn more. At Government Plaza, KSLA News 12, Tamer Knight.